We come on to the roundup now, Mike. If you don't mind, I'm going to uh, just kick off very quickly with the ladies. Off to you, sir. If you don't mind. Um, unlike uh, some of the news you're going to be giving, the uh, rugby Nats curse hasn't hit the ladies. Still flying high at the top of the league with seven out of seven is uh, Harlequins and Saracens ladies. Um, the results were you know, a difficult week in the uh, Tyrrells league. Uh, all the home sides had quite convincing wins. Uh, the Travellers, the away sides, apart from perhaps Richmond, who uh, got fairly close to Loughborough, 27-15, um, all the rest were quite big wins. So um, the home advantage came into play quite strongly at the weekend. Um, also, I, I hear in the media, um, Richmond had a bit of an admin problem by the sound of it. Uh, I think they uh, declared before the game that they had um, failed to register one of their players properly and effectively caused yeah. themselves to be deducted the points. Um, which is, well, a great shame for Richmond, but a bit of a schoolboy error. Yeah, you need around. to say on top of that stuff. Yeah, you? you do. It's just the admin in the yeah, game. It's yeah, massive, isn't yeah. it? Um, but the table remains pretty much unchanged. Um, Mike, um, I, you've got quite a lot to say tonight, including the uh, Rugby Nats curse. Well, 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 well. Um, yeah, predictions, predictions. They go out the window. In National 1, um, yeah, Coventry are relentless. They're, they're pulling ahead now of their rivals. Still unbeaten. Um, uh, you know, met a little uh, brave resistance from Caldy on, on, on the Saturday, but still uh, clocked up a 38-14. But then the sides below uh, were, were all turned over. Um, Blackheath. Uh, who'd put on a bit of a surge recently, beaten by Bishop Storford. Uh, Isha, who haven't had the greatest form this season, uh, beat Darlington. Mm. Um, and um, Roslyn Park managed to draw with Plymouth. So Coventry pull ahead, and uh, regrettably the back. others are just really fighting those spots out, out between them. But, uh, you know, they were surprises. But the biggest surprise, well, there were two big surprises, actually. But in, uh, in, in National League 2 North, the leaders, uh, Stourbridge, uh, who have done everything right this season, um, the perfect record, uh, bonus points for every game. They went to Sheffield Tigers, who were roughly mid-table, and they were beaten 28-14. Um, they're still top of the of the league. Uh, Tyndale are second. They managed to get a, a win. And uh, Hinkley, by beating Macclesfield 48-7, they move into third place. So, but these other sides now are actually chasing um, are, are chasing Stalbridge. So they need to be careful uh, that they can't let that slip or you know one defeat affect yeah. uh, affect, affect their, their, their side campaign. really. Yeah, absolutely. National two South. Um, well. The surprise of the day, unbeaten Taunton uh, are at home to Henley, who are sort of having an in-and-out season, and they go down 42-31. And it's a, quite a comprehensive uh, defeat for Taunton. And is the old curse, the sort of flaky curse that they've experienced of late, coming home to play? They've moved down now to, um, to third place. Chinna go top, they remain unbeaten. They beat Barnstable 32-27. Uh, uh, and um, uh, Cinderford, by virtue of beating Red Cliffians, uh, they are in they're in second. And as I said, Taunton go down to third. Red Gensians beat Wimbledon, the bottom side, so they're in fourth. That kept you uh, happy. So that kept me happy for the weekend, absolutely. Um, on the regional league as well, <laughs> all of them I think um, provided some sort of shot one way, one way or the other. Um, in London, Guernsey were top. Uh, they lost. Uh, to um, Guildford, and uh, they moved down to fourth place now. Uh, Tring, who managed to beat Westcliff, uh, now move up top. Barnes, by virtue of winning at um, Shelford, going to second place, and Hartford a third place. So that's been turned completely on his head, on his head yeah, from yeah. last week. And that is very, very close, and I wouldn't like to predict anything there. Um, in the Midlands division, Birmingham Sally Hull are still un, un, unbeaten. Uh, they topped that league. Uh, they beat uh, Newport, who were third, and Peterborough Lions, who were second. They they beat uh, uh, Hales Onions uh, by about 90 points <sighs> and retained second place. Preston, at times, seemed to leave a little late in the Northern Division, but they uh, they still won, so they're still unbeaten. Um, they find it out with Lim, who again are unbeaten, and uh, they both won on Saturday. Um, 
actually Preston only by a last gasp uh, score at the end and Lim were pretty uh, decisive in and comfortable <coughs> with their win over Rossendale that was a 38-10 um, they're being pushed now by Harrogate but Harrogate a few points behind them so these two are fighting it out and then another massive shock was in the southwest division where uh, Dings have been impeccable and came unstuck at home um. against Corn uh, Campbell Cornishside Campbell uh, they went down 22-20. Uh, One hell of a game. That absolutely, been. absolutely. And then we had um, Newton Abbott beat Hornets, Western Hornets. So they retained second place. And again, these two are a little ahead of the, the chasing bunch um, that would, would be Bournemouth and um, uh, <coughs> Maidenhead. Um, and, um, <coughs> you know, they've, uh, in that respect, I still think that these two sides will... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll pull ahead. For the um, going round out and about, uh, London Welsh beat the Bank of England and uh, the, dream, the dream is still alive. Uh, Bromsgrove in an all Midland derby against Rugby Lions retained their unbeaten uh, record by beating Rugby Lions 32-19. Morpeth, who Rugby Minutes visited them a few weeks ago, they move into second place after beating the, the league leaders Penrith 24-20. And in an all Reading derby, Reading beat uh, Reading Abbey 46 10. Now, that was a bit was, of a surprise. It was a surprise, there. yeah. Games this week, uh, well, um, Reading Gensians have already mentioned, so we don't want to overkill, but they're playing Red Ruth. That'll be interesting. They've never beaten Red Ruth, so that'll be a challenge. First time for everything. Absolutely. Preston play Harrogate are in third place, and Cleve play Dings, and can Cleve uh, catch Dings out? Uh, mm. You know, perhaps a crisis of confidence. Who knows? But it's all very exciting and, uh, yeah, it's, it'll be a good weekend to get out and watch some rugby. Thanks ever so much.